Welcome back to GoldenEye, and we're about to embark on the Surface 2 mission. And, uh, yes. This mission four years ago. I don't know what that means. This is set in the snow. And Bond is dressed as an Eskimo for this one. So now we're going to walk forward with our silenced pistol drawn for stealth. This, this would be a good opportunity for Bond to write his name in the snow. But unfortunately we, we can't do that in this game. And somewhere along here there will be a man with his back facing us. Who is easy pickings for our stealth tactics. Where is it? There he is. So, sneak up on him and pe peg him in the back. And then I get. I have a bit of difficulty with these. Then I get shot. Having a bit of a struggle with the auto aim. I think it becomes less efficient once you uh, yeah, go on double O agent. So, with that done, we will now proceed to our first objective, which is over yonder in this hut. There is a corporal. <coughs> yes, there is a corporal standing here, so we'll just gun him down. And this man will take some more of my health off, but he will be easily dispatched with one bullet. Now, I picked up the grenade launcher, which uh, uh, I'm not going to be using for fear of killing myself, but it, it, it's a good weapon on multiplayer. But if I use it on main game, I'll end up just blowing myself up, which is not good. So I'm going to use the Soviet. So in here we go to the desk and find the safe key, so that's objective E com uh, completed, excuse me. And there is a man down here with the Soviet, so we'll just gun him down quickly. Once you've been using the Soviet, you can make short work of enemies. And... Um, Something's wrong with the sky on my emulator. Uh, the sky isn't usually black on this mission. It's supposed to be a daytime mission. It's supposed to be blue with clouds, but for some reason on my emulator it uh, just has black sky. I don't know. So it looks like night time. <laughs> oh well, so we'll <coughs> venture into this hut where there is our next objective. Inside this safe is the bunk plans, which we won't uh, we'll collect, but we won't be uh, you be able to use them at all. So that's a bit of a pointless mission. Uh, around here is there's a is the uh, security camera of the level, but uh, so we'll fire around it a few times and then eventually hit it. And in here there is a model car which we can shoot, and just like everything else in the game, it'll explode. And there's a model bike that also explodes. Right. Everything in this game is portable explosive device, and in there are some jerry cans, which uh, in Great Britain have come on the new, been on the news recently. The prime minister and the government has recommended that people use jerry cans to store petrol in, which is a foolish idea, I have to say. Our government is a bit stupid. So inside, now we enter the dish, and there, there won't be a camera here until surface 2, but we go in here and we have to power around the dish by pressing action, pressing B there, and that's objective A complete. <coughs> so now we are uh, ready to finish the level. Um, oh. First I'll take a shot from this sniper rifle toting idiot. And then I'll get out my grenade launcher and take there's some padlocks I have to destroy up here, but I can just destroy them with just the one grenade carefully placed in the middle. Uh, and this is where I thought I'd try and do something not quite cool. I thought I'd 
whip out the grenade launcher and then fire, usually if you whip out the grenade launcher and then fire towards the heavens, it'll blow bond up in the cutscene. But the game decided to glitch so that wouldn't happen, so that rather well, spoils my fun. So that's that mission complete, now we're onto the bunker. And unfortunately, I believe I suffer a, a bit of... I think the game crashes here. Satellite control bunker. <coughs> and, yeah, here it goes. The game has crashed. So, I'll take a few moments and then I'll reset the emulator. There we are. So that was rather irritating, although at least it did it at the beginning of the level, so we'll skip through all this nonsense. And select our file again, towards the bunker, select it all again. And this time we will skip the cutscenes as we've seen them. And it doesn't crash this time, and we're able to actually play the level. So, now we're going to make heavy work, hard work of these two numb skulls. And there's a security camera here, but I decide to open the door rather than shooting it through the window. Thus making this bit a little bit harder. I have to, now I have to shoot the camera while there are men shooting me. I'm going to take a bit of splash damage from the explosion and a few bullets. Okay, he wasn't paying attention, so he's been shot before he could react. Ah. Ah, now that fellow dropped the computer room keycard, which we needed to get in to do the, the next, that objective there, but not until later. <coughs> ah, old, there's that old grandpa soldier. Now this is where one of my enemies will fail the objective for me by destroying his own computer for some reason. Yes, the men in this game will destroy, will often destroy their own vital equipment in order to get to bond. So it's a rather annoying way to fail the mission, but we'll try it again. And this time we shall be successful. So, skip the cutscene again. We start the level again for a third time. And this time we deal with these deals with these. And I think I will shoot the camera through the window this time, which makes it a bit easier. Yep, so that brings this guy running, so we we'll shoot him. And this one, and this fellow is not paying attention again, so he takes a shot. Go around the corridor to the left, shoot Mr. Scarface, and we go in here, oh, no we don't. And that was a grenade going off, hopefully, luckily it didn't fail the mission. I could imagine the guards grenading their own computers by accident, because they are so stupid. But now, this time I will completely miss this camera, and Now I'll venture around here and spray bullets at all the walls instead of hitting the guards. And... Okay, that's them two out of commission. Now, somewhere in this main control room I will find Boris from the movies. Who do I need to do a objective for me, but he will be cowering over there. In the meantime, this man will try and run next to him, so and try and get me to fail my mission by shooting Boris, but we're not going to do that. Now I shoot these men, and there's another corporal. So we shoot him in the kneecap, and then in the kneecap again, and now he's dead. Now we've got to take out this camera before it spots us, and we do not want those men to come running. <coughs> so, 
Now I will follow, follow Boris, but then suddenly realize I haven't done all my objectives yet, so I go into the start menu. I get try and get the key analyzer. Now I have to analyze the gold my key by pressing Z, and then press Z again to toss the gold my key. And I also have to take a photograph of this screen, so I go into the camera thing again, and I try and select the camera. And I press Z to take a picture. And that is all, that should be all my objectives now, I think it is. So now we will go around here, we will try and locate Boris, and he will piss around for a bit. Uh, by running here over here to try and stop us from getting the cheat by wasting some time but eventually he will go where we want to yes take me to the mainframe terminal I can't do a Pierce Brosnan impression so I can do I can just about do Sean Connery so this fellow who is uh, in the movie Boris played by Alan Cummings or coming and uh, and in the movie he sounds a lot more Scottish than Russian I have to say so we're gonna get he's gonna have to have a Scottish accent here and that fellow tried to outwit us behind the boss behind the box but we're wise to that strategy so disable the security and we while he's doing that we have to select our data thief So, uh, shouldn't take too long. Hmm, the root password has been changed. K N O C K E R S button. Whoops. So now we. Oh no, I didn't use the data thief. So I've got to get the data thief out again. I pressed the wrong bloody button. So I press Z, use the data thief, and that will allow us to do that objective. And in the, then he's going to count up car again, but we'll destroy the continuity of the film by shooting him. Though he will, he will be back very much alive in a later level. And now we've got these weird men in full black uniforms to take care of, and they take quite a beating even with the Soviet weapon. Now I've run out of that weapon, I have to use the crappy little tickle guns, clobs, which are apparently named after one of the uh, crew called Ken Lob, apparently. So we'll destroy these two idiots, open the door, and venture out into the blue. So, that's the bunker level done, and I think, yes, I got the cheat, even though I faffed around, so next, see you next time.